Hello everyone, Roman Babich here with another fragrance review, this time Terry Mugler's Pure Tonka. Let's start off with the presentation. For the presentation, we have a black box in the standard style of Angelman, a rose gold uh, lettering and outline. Amen up here, Pure Tonka. It says in concentration on the bottom. And on the bottom side, we have your batch code printed here. On one side, it has a little description about the fragrance. On the other side, we have uh, some more description with the ingredients on the bottom. And on the back, we have a picture, somewhat realistic, of the bottle and nothing up top. The bottle itself is a very familiar looking rubber bottle um, rubber casing, rubber casing with a ambery pinkish star in the middle. We have the size and concentration and the batch coat on the bottom. The sprayer the standard there is a bit of a difficulty but other than that it's a pretty good sprayer and that is the presentation for Terry Mueller's Pure Tonka this fragrance is classified as a oriental fougere the top note is mint the mid note is lavender and in the base we have tonka of course coffee cocoa vanilla patchouli and licorice now how does this fragrance actually smell. Well, first off, there's this burst of alcohol, but it very quickly changes into mint. And that mint sticks around for maybe a minute and before coming, becoming more fresh and uh, sweet, kind of like vanilla. Imagine pure coffee, if you smelt that before, um, but it goes into the direction of, let's say, Versace Eros. Now as that mint disappears, other spices come up to the surface, of course. Even though there's no uh, spices listed in the note breakdown, it, there's definitely a uh, spiciness to this fragrance. As it dries down, the tonka takes over this vanilla um, tonka kind of vibe. Um, there's chocolate and caramel, even though caramel is not listed, uh, but chocolate and caramel start to creep up um, but they're more in the background and as it continues to dry it becomes this um, spicy tonka with uh, some that caramel and chocolate become very very much the background um, a little bit obscure but primarily there's this coffee uh, background to this overall spicy tonka and in the further dry down like let's say after the th uh, four hour mark or so um, coffee starts to take over that fragrance. Now, it's been described to me um, like a sort of campfire-y kind of a fragrance. You got this uh, sweet drinks like coffee, hot chocolate, you're sitting around the campfire. That There's this very much a woodsy overtone, like you can't specifically pin down a specific wood, but there's this woodsiness kind of hovering throughout the fragrance. The projection of this fragrance, I'd say, is about a couple feet. Uh, for the first two hours and then it sits close to the skin um, and the longevity I find that it's very ambiguous but majority of the time it's eight to ten hours I've gotten less before but it's just the con weather conditions or just the condition of my skin but most of the time it sits between eight and ten hours for longevity the best time I think to wear this fragrance really is I would say the fall or the spring where it's not too hot and not too cold it has it's not a one that will really it's not a fragrance that'll project through let's say the cold but at the same time there it is sweet so it's a bit of a gamble in hot weather like the summer but the fall and the spring this is where this fragrance really shines and i do find that on clothes you can get a bit longer for longevity uh, 
maybe 12 hours tops. The, the type of occasion that this fragrance will work in is pretty much any fragrance because there's this fresh quality throughout, this fresh wizzy kind of quality throughout the fragrance and I find that you can wear this casually and let's say in a more formal setting because it's not this sweet uh, bomb of vanilla. It's not, or the, the tonka isn't so much just sweet, but it has this mature vibe because of that coffee and woodsy kind of backbone. That's it you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to like and comment on this video and I'll see you next time. God bless.